Hey everybody, this is Austin, the Best Second 40 Antiques Show. A while back I bought something that's pretty special. Um, jeez, bud. Jeez. You ever gonna get anything good, Austin? Like anything, anything neat or like valuable or anything? So the problem here is that that says Haviland Limoges. I guess that's pretty good from what I understand. So let's see what else I got in here. Now I believe that these pieces are from the 1880s. Because I saw these at St. Vincent de Paul's and um, it was $30 for the set. So, I didn't really count, I just grabbed, packed and left. I packed all these, so there's a piece of paper in between every single one of these little doodadders. Again, we can look at this mark and we can track it down. I believe the important part is the green right here. H and Co. E. Here's the regular size saucers. I'm gonna say these are dessert plates, just a little bigger than the uh, tea saucers here. So let's do their stack real quick. There's one. 11 of those I see. Oh, so I think we do have the full set of 12 uh, dessert plates there. Um, if you've never heard of Haviland Limoges, they're, uh, they're like the company you'd want to find. Uh, two pretty regular sized serving platters here, I think. I mean, I think they'd be serving platters, it makes sense to me, but... I mean, only because there's two regular sized sort of plates. And, uh... You know, if everything else is miniature, obviously, these would be servers, but I'm not 100% not positive, so feel free to yell at me or tell me to do my job right. The star of our show. Um, the one with the hole in it? Gotta be right. Oh. Huh. Never seen that before. There's an intact sort of tooth on the inside of a, on the inside of that lid there. I think that means it just won't fall out, so you'd probably put it towards the rear of the, the mouth there. I'm gonna count up all the cups and stuff too, obviously. Thirty dollars can make or break you some days, so. So I understand it's a big risk, you know, and I wasn't positive these were 1800s. I thought these were, I thought these were maybe 50s or 60s when I was going at them there. And then, uh, I think that's got to be right, because the other one would have the tooth for the, uh, the pouring. And that one doesn't have a tooth to stop it from tipping, because you're not supposed to tip it. Oh, I don't know what these would be. Maybe... Maybe like lemon wedge bowls. They're fairly small. So we've got our our tea saucers, our dessert plates. Um, how many of these do we have? Like Eleven or twelve? Oh, if, I'm not going to recount them in front of you guys. I'll count them <laughs> individually later. Eleven or twelve of those. And then we've obviously got the cuts to match all this. So yeah, if you ever see a Havlund Limoges tea set and it's, you know, less than $30, that's probably a pretty safe investment. It's, uh, it's almost ridiculously safe. I do believe these are going to be worth something like $1,000, maybe more than that. Uh, genuine antique French, I believe the complete set pretty immaculate condition. I see there's just the tiniest little glaze loss right there. It is a tiny little chip at the rim there, but 
other than that, I really haven't seen any damage at all. So, so this is Austin, Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. Bunch of, bunch of orange paper in your way of seeing all the stuff back there. So that's cool. <laughs> Real professional.